TNTM The Show presents... August Talking Nerdy. With your host, Pablo Gunner. The Ambassador. I'm Marvin Goof, baby. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about all the nerdy stuff, or as much of the nerdy stuff that we could cover as possible for the month of August. So we're going to be covering Rebel Moon Director's Cuts. Let's move on to Rebel Moon Director's Cuts. Okay. I have no desire to watch. Uh, I, 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 because of what you said before, I haven't really been motivated. Uh. <laughs> I, once again, I did this for the people, but I have to say that this reminds me of that one post that someone did where, where actually it was him that said like, oh, I wish I could do a director's cut of Sucker Punch because I know how to make it better or I know how to oh, fix it. And this girl clapped back and was like, bro, just make them right the first time. All right, I'll give it a try. No. Try not. Do. Or do not. There is no try. And that's what these movies are, right? Like, it's rated R. This sucked me in from the get-go. Like, there was gratuitous violence. There was nudity. There was... But there was also, like, this family that, that was brought in, and I cared immediately, right? I was like, this is messed up. And I hated the villain immediately, too. Like, mm. oh my gosh. And it sucked me in so well. And this is exactly what he should do. He should have never even put out those other... They should have never put out those other versions. You idiots! These are not them. You've captured their stunt doubles! Search the area! Find them! Find them! But because it taints this version. Huh. Right? Because this version's so good, or maybe it makes it better because you already know the basic outline of the story that you're like, okay, I get it. And this just expands on it so well that you're like, wow, these are actually, I won't say they're great, but they're solid movies, right? They're solid movies. And I go, this is him doing his, if this is him doing his own idea of what he, what Star Wars inspired him to be, I want to see more stuff that people that are inspired by Star Wars stuff do with other, that it's not Disney, right? Like mm -hmm. that's, hey, Netflix gave him the chance. Look, those other cuts, I will say garbage. This one, pretty solid. I enjoyed mm -hmm. it. It was pretty good. I would say don't even watch the other ones. Watch these ones if you can, right? Because it's rated R. It is very violent. And I'm still going to say to this day, I want the guy that, um, he played Cyborg in the Justice League movies, and he's also mm -hmm. in this. And he looks just like Bishop. Oh, and I was yeah. like, I want this dude as Bishop. <laughs> in because he's young too, right? So like and he's he's tall, like he has the look, he has the attitude down. I was like, I want him as Bishop. Because they're not the greatest movies ever, but I just felt like it was such a redemption. It's hard for me to not say that it's a must-see, but it is definitely it is absolutely worth checking out. For sure, worth checking out. So yeah. Well it looks like my mind's changing. Cool. Uh, check it. Yeah. Don't watch the other ones. Watch these ones. Kira Talk Nerd to Me, our grade scale is must see, must stream, unless it's something that you can buy, of course. And then uh, check it out or worth checking out. And then pass. So for shout outs, we have uh, MK Wizard. She is now at the top of that list every time because she's phenomenal. You've seen some of the videos. You may or may not have seen some of the videos I've done with her, and they're great. We have this great conversation back and forth. So definitely check out all of her stuff because it's great. Uh, Film Rage, those guys are hilarious. They cover movies. So if you like, if you're a hardcore movie person, definitely listen to them because they cover stuff ASAP and they'll keep you on on the know. And then they're hilarious. Uh, Pesky Gremlins, they they do web comics like MK Wizard. So that, check that out. Uh, watch it if you can. Podcasts, they're awesome. Amerime Media, they're really cool as well. Um, and then uh, for merch. But yogurt, what is this place? What is it that you do here? Merchandising. Merchandising? What's that? Merchandising. Come, I'll show you. Open up this door. <laughs> Come, walk this way. Take a look. We put the picture's name on everything. For the new month for September, it's going to be... Lord of the Rings. It's mainly going to be focused because everybody loves the books and the movies. So it's mainly going to be focused on that. But we are going to have some Rings of Power merch as well. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be coming out. And we're going to be uh, leaving our Batman stuff. Maybe come up with some more. I don't know. 
And um, mm -hmm. of course, we're sporting our merch now. Here it is, right there. <laughs> we have uh, this, this hat as well. As oh yeah, the Pokemon hat. Pretty much the Ash Ketchum Tognery to me hat, and uh, our magic. Mm -hmm. Lovely right? Magic the Gathering shirt. This one's my favorite, actually. MTG, <laughs> the good MTG. The good MTG. Yeah. <laughs> so, an ambassador. Got my Ninja Turtles Tognery to me shirt. Yes. And, uh, and I got one too. Mine's blue tank top right here. And I got the shorts to go with it. Uh, I want the headband and the socks. And so if you buy any merch from us, uh, it helps us greatly. I mean, we really don't make a lot of money off the merch. But 5% of any profit that we go to, we have a different charity for the month. And so for the new month, it's going to be AFSP, which is American Foundation for Suicide Prevention as it, is, as it is Suicide Prevention Month. Uh, there's also Hispanic Heritage Month uh, is halfway through the month. That's why I'm not going to do the whole month. But we're going to roll out some merch for that as we have some Azul Beetle and probably some Miles Morales. We'll probably roll that out too. Yeah. You know, and then any other characters that we can think of that we, that we love, we're, we're inspired by and everything like that. That's it, unless you guys have anything else. Look out for a review of the new 5th edition Player's Handbook. Awesome. That's coming out in a few weeks. I'll hopefully turn that out here in a bit. Cool. Talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, Flat Earth. Keep it nerdy, y'all. <laughs>